What do you do down there? What do you do in Texas? Um, we were showing a school down there. Oh, we are studying. Yeah, uh, criminal justice. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, you'll be busy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah absolutely. <laughs> All right, Patriots, I'm not so damn sure this country is already screwed. Got a couple here giving up their ranch on the border. We got people pouring over that border right now. And I'm wondering what the fuck is really, I mean, you know, I don't know. I, I, I speak to border agents. I speak to the ICE attorneys. Donald Trump's doing everything he can. Yeah, well, how about deploying the damn military on the border with orders to keep everybody within a thousand yards of that border? We have troops all over the damn world protecting borders. We can't protect our own. I don't know. People from the Congo pouring over. Ebola infested Congo. These people could be taking time bombs. Bio warfare. Uh, well, you know, do I have to tell you what to do? Hit the damn buttons. Subscribe. Support me. See you on the flip end. You, uh, you right. don't have a build the wall one, do you? No. <laughs> but you know, I just spoke to about 15 minutes ago. I asked the guy where, you know, where you're from, what does he do? He's an immigration lawyer for ICE on the southern border of Texas. Where is he? And he gave me a... Point him to me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he gave me about a oh, good 15, 20 minute interview. We just... You we and live I 70 in. miles from the border. We have a cattle ranch. Do you really? And we've been there a hundred years, literally. Our relatives and now us. And it's... We're getting ready to sell it so dangerous. Because of what's happening? 7,000 have come over since October. Just on your property? Well, no, across Arizona and New Mexico oh, yeah, and Texas. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's used to, um, babe, get out of the sun. Yeah, I know, but... Yeah, get I get over here. You know. I have to tell him these things. <laughs> um, He's used to it. He's a cattle rancher. Come on, what, are you kidding me? You can take it. I know, that's what I try to... But, um... We used to have family guys come up. They can't get through anymore. You know, they would work in the fields or, and uh, they would come to our ranch to dry out because they would drink all winter. So Doug would let them drink. So they'd have to send their money back home. That's how much they trusted us, you know. And we trusted them. But now it's... We have one place where the drug cartel is in cahoots with the other side of the border on, on in New Mexico. I mean, the, all the government officials are so crooked. Thank you. That's what I got from the uh, custom agents I spoke to. I asked them, well, what, what's the problem? Because all the drugs come in is because the politicians are in cahoots with the, uh, the, the drug cartel. There's too much money in it. Exactly. There's too much money, and that's They're why built. there's no wall being built. Well, you know, they just built a private section on private land, and they had clearance and all the permits. Right. And, uh, Some and they got, when they got yeah. to Sunland, which is a little town, they tried to stop them. They lied. They said this, that. Yeah. And they got it through. They got it done. They did a mile in a week or something. Right. It was amazing. But, yeah, it's, it's uh, and And the drug cartel... They'd be up here getting drugs across by thousands were coming right. down the lane, you know, yeah. sidetracking. Yeah, they well, use it as blessing diverse. to see you. Oh well, keep but, up the good work. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> so, I mean, it's a shame you're actually thinking of 
selling the hundred year old. Thing. Well, the other thing, none of the kids or grandkids are tough enough to ranch anymore. It's a tough life. So that's the first. I mean, if one of them, then we'd have to rethink this. But we're both kind of young and healthy in our 70s. We're going to go travel. Pay your dues. Dues time. But have you. What's happened on your property specifically? Have you seen any, I mean... Well, one time, I'm home alone. I don't do guns. I, I do guns now, but I didn't then. And uh, four showed up at my door. Now, the family guys would walk 12 days to get to our ranch. These guys are in a car. We have big gas pumps and stuff. They're looking around. And uh, I just kind of acted more crazy. You know, who grabbed a shotgun, which is a dumb thing to do because I don't know how to use a shotgun. Yeah, they don't know. Gave them food and said, oh, Federelli's every day at 12 o'clock. No, we're an hour from town. Cops. Yeah. So nobody can help us. You know, we have to help ourselves. So after that, I learned how to use a gun. But now, most recently, I've never had a call from our neighbors. Uh, Ted Turner is our neighbor. I'm not bragging on it all. <laughs> but we like his ranch hands. But they texted me and said six illegals were seen walking up the road. I freaked. I laid every gun we had on the bed. Nobody was home. But it's just getting... Yeah, it's good. Why have, why have you ever been up the bed? Well, we all leave our keys in the truck. Our front door's been open for 100 years. And now yeah. we're having to lock it up. That's a shame. And, yeah. That's my story. Hey, so you have a site? You have a website? Oh, yeah. It's on the back of this get out of jail free card from Hillary Clinton. <laughs> and um, and you'll see that interview I just had with the ICE lawyer. Yeah. Oh, he was tremendous. He was really, I mean, he was just, I mean, it was like, a, you know, it, it sounded like a confessional here for patriots. Right. You know, they see me. It and it's, it's, it's like, 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 oh, oh, you know, they can come up and they start spewing out, you know, all this stuff. And I love it. It's great. So. Well, and the board of so helpless. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, babe. Yeah. Keep up the good work, dude. Well, thank I love you. it. Yeah, thank I was you watching you on YouTube. It's hilarious. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get my, it's a get out of jail free card from Hillary Clinton for you. Thank you very Thanks. much for following me. Appreciate Cheers, it. Yeah. You can get a lot of these designs on apparel, too. Oh. And they come with a trigger back guarantee. If you don't trigger a liberal, you'd get your money back. <laughs> now he likes a lot, you. A lot of liberals. They said when they had the parade and they had a float with the old wall on it, the liberals were mooning the float is in it. <laughs> <laughs> Which, you know, just speaks volumes. Yeah, yeah. Why? Okay. Griffin, he's a cowboy. He just started, he's just a cowboy. And he got a bunch of cowboys to go to Washington and then got him a uh, Trump a cowboy hat. And now he's, I mean, he's just grown to hundreds, maybe thousands. Great. And, uh... Yeah, and so the other day we went to one of his rallies, and I mean, you know, a country boy, but well-spoken and, and just burning in his heart, so he's out there on a horse doing it, gathering more people. That's how we're going to win. Right? Each one of us individually stand up and say something, and that's how we win. They can't shut us all up. You know, it's like, you know, it's like trying to hold back water. You can't do it. Exactly. Okay, I have one for you. Do you know why Trump doesn't need glasses? Okay. Because he has 2020. <laughs> the next, right? Gotcha. I know it's a little. Dun -dun 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 -dun, right? <laughs> so hopefully he does have 2020. Oh, yeah. There ain't nobody going to beat him. I mean, the only thing that could possibly uh, stumble up would be. If, the, if they try to crash the economy, and then they blame it on him. Well, they blame everything. Yeah, well, I mean, they blame everything. <laughs> right. He could, he could, he could pave the, the streets in gold, and they say, oh, they're too bright. And, uh, they're too slippery. I'm yeah. hoping Bernie and uh, Biden will cancel each other out. They've already canceled themselves they out. Have. I mean, they're, come on, you kidding? Look. <laughs> Creepy Joe Biden. Right? And the guy's got such baggage. I mean, you could the flip-flops over the years, we could just, you know, keep on going but back. But unfortunately, those thousands, a hundred thousands are following the Kardashians. Yeah, but they do play. And then you've got, like, uh, 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 you know, Bernie, uh, have them vote from jail. I know. Wait a minute. Didn't they lose that right? <laughs> 
I thought. I mean, their ideas are so off the charts that, I, I mean, I run into moderate liberals with the, you know, ones that are left. <laughs> that can't go there. They might not vote for Trump, right. but they're not going to vote for infanticide, they're not going to vote for open borders, not going to vote for, you know, prisoners voting, from, right. you know. They're not going there. Uh, you okay, know. you've given me hope. Okay, okay. Yeah, look at hashtag walk away. You, you familiar with that? No. Oh, yeah, this is like it during the 16 election. Some gay liberal New Yorker. <laughs> he's uh, he's listening to Trump and he just Facebooked it. You know, Trump's making a couple of good points here. All of a sudden, boom, he gets, you know, you're a white Nazi, blah, blah. No, 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 I'm a gay New York liberal. Wait, wait, and I'm not a... over to Trump. Yeah, but he just started listening, you know, so I, there's a few things he makes sense. Hashtag and they, uh, Hashtag walk away. And they they wouldn't relent on him. So finally he just said, all right, screw this. I'm out of here. I'm walking. So he did make this video why I'm walking away from the Democratic Party. Boom, boom. All these liberals are coming out of the woodwork on, this is why I'm walking away. This is why I'm walking away. This is why I'm walking away. Oh, wow. You could listen to hours of why. Of, One little light. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Well, you've inspired us, and we were inspired, but <laughs> thanks so much. My job. Bless your heart. <laughs> God bless you again. Right. Texas. Texas! Yes, sir. All right, what part of Texas? New Braunfels. New Braunfels? Yeah, it's right in between uh, San Antonio and Austin. Right. Yeah. So what do you think about the, the deal that Trump made with Mexico? You think it's going to stop the flow of... I hope so. Here he goes. Yeah. I hope so. Yeah, yeah, I really do hope so. That's uh, yeah. That's you, you feeling it down there? Are you? I mean, I spoke to some ranchers down there, right along the border, and they say, "Man, yeah." yeah my, my brother's actually he's um he's stationed in uh, uh, Arizona. He's work he's helping with the border patrol, and they're yeah. He said they just they just walk in. Yeah. Like they don't they're not even running or anything. They, they, yeah. they know that they're gonna yeah. get caught, and then they're gonna be released in into yeah. the America. What do you do down there? What do you do in Texas? Um, we was going to school down there. Well, we are studying. Yeah, uh, criminal justice. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, you'll be busy. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, here's a get out of jail free card from Hillary Clinton for you. It's good for any crime in the world, as you uh, know. Yep, I appreciate uh, that. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you. Sir. Bless you. Yeah, so that's it. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? It's going to take. I know what I'd like. We do I do what the Founding Fathers did? Tree of Liberty, baby. Tree of Liberty. God bless you.